Hey everyone, welcome back to Chris and Donna Play. I'm Chris. And I'm Donna. And these are the adventures of Chris and Donna. Are they? Though? They are the adventures. <laughs> okay. They are the adventures again. Because, you know, we had adventures before and now we're having more adventures. It's a continuation. Yes, exactly. So, we shouldn't take a wine break at the same time. There's Why? just a lot of awkward silence. So... It's it's making a point. Our last video was um, a horrible, horrible, horrible attempt at making an unboxing video of the PlayStation 5. Accurate. So, so bad in fact that we almost didn't post it, but then our teenage daughter talked us into doing it. Yeah. So we were like, you know what, whatever, we're just going to upload it. If you guys like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Who gives it? I mean, honestly. So. <laughs> Uh, what we're left with now is because in the last video we didn't actually even do any like testing or because you know what all of this kind of was thrown together at the last minute um, our lighting our green screen everything just like kind of thrown together we went to Best Buy and spent hundred and sixty dollars on two HDMI cables which we're going to return tomorrow <laughs> because I bought <laughs> the same ones on Amazon that. no seriously they need to know yeah don't spend hundred and sixty dollars on HDMI cables that you can get on Amazon for twenty bucks a piece. That's literally There's one no of the point. smallest like price tags it's, that is it's associated ridiculous. Yeah. with my purchases. But all right. So, um, anyways, uh, we are here at the not start screen. So let me tell you guys something. Um, you can't record the very first thing that happens on the PlayStation Five with the screen recording software because or with a capture device because of the HDCP production that you actually have to turn off in order to record from the PlayStation 5. So, so anyone who records otherwise, it's all a bunch of lies. Yeah, unless you're Sony. Yeah, but like I know that there are many individuals who make it seem as though they're recording from the get-go. Albeit, I mean, there's always the poss... No, there's not the possibility that someone could be like, Forget Oh, it. it's fine. you record it, and then I'll come and play it. No, it's a whole bunch of bullshit. That's not the first time that they're saying that. Unless they really took the time right. to be it's, able to make it fine. seem like that. Yes. I don't know, that pisses me off, personally, as someone who's, like, watching a video and being like, oh, they're experiencing this in the same moment that I'm currently, I mean, uh, later, obviously, but that just kind of bothers me a little bit. I, I want to, yeah. I don't like being lied to. So, let's talk about what the PlayStation 5 is. Um, it's a game console. Yeah. Let's talk about what it isn't. Not a game console. So... With that said, we're going to click the OK button at this screen uh, because the screen was already adjusted to our liking. Um, there we go. So the first thing that we get to is kind of this, um, you know, the menu. And it's it's actually seems to be very, very limited. Uh, all right, so what we have here, I guess, is the PlayStation Store because we haven't logged in yet. It's offline. And we have this Astro's Playroom, which I don't know. I've never seen it before, so I have no idea what that is. And we have the media gallery, which I guess is that's well, it says it's home for all of your screenshots and video clips. Yes. We have the game library, which I guess Astro's Playroom is part of, and we also have the media gallery in there. Uh, so not much to the menu. Uh, looks a lot like, you know, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3. It actually kind of has that no, same flow to it. It's, it reminds me a lot of like reminiscent PlayStation 3, but more like. I don't know, top justified, if you know what I mean. Yes. Because everything was more, you know, centralized. True. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the uh, PlayStation Store, and we're going to go to Network Settings. Because that's one of the things I actually skipped over when we did the initial setup. Um, the only thing I really set, so that you guys know, is I set the, uh, the time zone, I set the username, um, and I agreed to the long agreement that nobody reads. So... Don't tell them that, though. Nobody reads it. But what if they're listening? The point is, is you agreed to it. So whatever you're agreeing to, if you don't read it, it's on you, not on them. They don't care. So, our settings, connect to the internet. We're going to do that. We're going to set up our internet connection. You're going to blur this out, right? No, I'm going to show everyone our password so they can do a drive-by. And then, you know. Alright, super secret password in. Connecting to the access point. Connect to the fucking access point, please. 
Yes, we are connected. <laughs> now what? Now we get to just go out and be done with the internet. Hey, what a concept. Now we can sign in. Look at that. Holy hell. All right. Oh, wow. Look at that. We can't sign in yet because on the day after the PlayStation 5 was released, there's already a fucking system update. I'm not surprised. I am not either. Because every time I turn on my fucking PlayStation, I have to update it to play a game. It's li yeah. It's the worst fucking thing in the world. No, I mean, well, and I had auto update on my Dude, PlayStation. Dude, almost a gigabyte worth of updates. That is fucking ridiculous. It's bonkers. And it's a whole four minutes. What is it? Like, did they fucking build this out, program all the software, and then they were like, we're going to ship it. Oh, but wait, we found this bug. Fuck it. Let's ship it anyways. You guys will just throw in an update and fuck with everybody. <laughs> restarting. Fucking restarting. Yeah, okay, so Donna left because she had to go get some games. And she came back with all the games, just like I could ask her. Yep. Yeah. She's awesome. That's, yeah, that's why you fucking married me. That's not why I married you. There's tons of reasons why I married you. You also got a PS3 game. I don't think it's backwards compatible. It was these. within the mid. Although that would be super awesome. Grand it? Theft Auto, it's Grand Turismo. If we could get rid of our PS3 and our PS4. <gasps> Spyro. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yes. We're not looking at Elder Ooh, Scrolls. Ooh, all of these are mine. <laughs> Aww. They're all. And that one's they're mine. all of ours. They're lot, all ours. A lot of them are games I play though. You know, if you're gonna say that these are yours, then Ooh. that's mine. I'll play it more than you do. No, you won't. I'll bet you. You say you will. But I you will won't. bet you. You will not. Cold, hey, hard. You know what we should. We should put card. in is this. What the fuck is that? It's injustice. I've never played that. Well, I feel that there's have been much injustice done to you for not playing that. Uh, have you ever played that? Yeah. What is it? It's it's a fighting game, but it's the Justice League. Why does that look like? This the Martian Mars Man. It's the Mars Man. Mars. It's, it's the Martian Manhunter. Yeah. Don't turn off your PS5 if a disc is inserted. It's the Mars Man. <laughs> Don't inject it. Oh, you're not supposed to eject the disc if you there's said one in inject. there. I know. Shut up. I was gonna let that go, but <laughs> yeah. You never let lots of things go that I say. So. Nothing. You're right. Donna likes just, you know, sucking her wine down. I drink mine with, you know, patience and much. What? Oh, because it was, whoops. I was like, why is there a golden retriever on our television? Rebuilding the database. What is all that about? Your database. Uh, you say so. All right, we've restarted. The system update is complete. And now we are going to try to get on the PlayStation Network. Come on, connect controller. A new version of the wireless controller device software is available. Your console won't need to restart for this update. Connect your controller using a USB cable and then select update now. Remind me later, bitch. That's what I want. Remind me later. Is that abusive? Um... We're going to sign in. So when I decided to tell it to remind me later, it literally disconnected the controller and I had to reconnect it again. Fucking stupid. It's now fine. it's going to make you update your controller as well? How? The I miss the days of the Nintendo. And the days where you didn't actually have to update oh, that's not even right. your controller. Or anything because... Those are the days of the Nintendo. I mean, not exclusively. Mostly. Look at that. We got signed in. Uh, choose a privacy profile that fits how you like to play online. Huh. Social and open, a team player, friend focused, solo and focused. Review your current settings. Solo and focused. I like to maximize my chances to connect, be seen, and socialize. Effortless multiplayer, but I limit who knows my real identity. I think we should go with that. Really? Well, yeah. If we want a multiplayer, I don't want to fuck with it. I just don't want to fuck with it later. 
Allies and rivals can see your gaming history, broadcasts, and the games you own. They can chat with you, and they can prepare for your next round together by asking to become your friend. To expand your squad, friends of friends can see who you know. It's wild out there, but you're covered. Your real name will be visible only to the friends on PlayStation Network who you choose. See? It's cool. Personalized purchase recommendations. Allow our store to show you personalized product and service recommendations. Uh, no. Or yes? No. Yes? No? There's no reason. No personalized advertising. We don't want any fucking advertising. For the love of God, stop. <laughs> advertising, seriously? Yes. Let's go back to old school TV and commercials, and that's all the advertising we need. Yes. You'll stay signed into PlayStation Network on this PS5 unless you sign out from settings. The following is recommended to make your account more secure. Set a passcode so that others, other people can't log in as you. Go to set. Uh, yeah, yeah. Require a password for making purchases, obviously. But that's already set. That should be already set. No. Until I set a password, that's not set. People can just come in here. Fucking two-step verification. Fucking kill myself. Why? We'll use the text message. That seems to be more reliable. Because you know what? I've used Authenticator before. And what happens is um, if you install Authenticator from your phone and you don't have your um, authentication keys backed up, you lose all of those two-factor authentications. And the thing that's supposed to get you back into your account is now not able to get you back into your account. So then you have to go through a whole bunch of bullshit verifying your identity and all other kinds of stuff just to get back into your account. Oh, wow. So the bad thing with using your mobile number is that your mobile number may change. Right. Because you know, that's what happens. Well, that's why you go through after you've changed your mo well, you mobile know, number. That too. And the other part is, is that, you know, read 164. One six two three four seven. We're definitely going to be ixnaying this. No, this is a one-time code. Doesn't matter. Yes, but I mean, as far as the other information that you've been yes, we're not going to show them the passwords that they already didn't see because we skipped over that. What the fuck? If you don't have your phone or you can't retrieve, to see, this is what I was talking about. This is the backup code. So I'm going to just take a picture of that. Actually, we have it on the camera. So. I'll just cut that part out and save a screenshot for ourselves. Cheers. So yeah. Hey, um, so if anybody else is doing that, quick tip. If you're screen recording and you're doing this while you're screen recording, just don't worry about it. <laughs> it's recorded. Um, but you're not going to see this screen because I'm going to blur all this out. So you don't know my secret code. All right. I, I, at least I hope the recording over there is working. Let's hope so. Hoo-hoo, look at that. Um, no. Choose media apps to watch video or listen to music while your games continue to download in the background. So they want you to just stay on the PlayStation 5 no matter what you do. Yeah. Um, we will do this later. I mean, honestly, I used to watch Netflix on my Wii. I like so. watching my gaming con... <laughs> I like using my gaming console to play games. Not to watch TV. I have other shit for that. Oh, I was young. Alright. Uh, I got that. Okay, so... What we got here? Look, mm. Horizon Forbidden West. I know. You're not allowed to have that game until you finish the other one. I know. Donna uh, Fridays? Gonna make a comeback? Um, we'll see. If yeah, I can... that doesn't sound too convincing. Look at that. No, Hogwarts what am Legacy. I? Where am I gonna do it in here? <laughs> well, you know what? When I go off on business bullshit, you can sit in here and fucking crank out videos. Challenge accepted. While also taking care of the kids. That's what Haley's for. Haley? I'll. Yeah. She has school, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You think she pays attention? Godfall. That game actually looked pretty good. I. Okay, that. so like I was actually games. looking free, free at. To play, free to play. Wait. But I was looking at another one of the games Look, earlier. Donna, Fortnite. One of I'll those. kill myself first. I'm yeah, sorry. you know what? That's what I said when Minecraft came out. I was like, you know no, what? I'm never no, going to fucking play Minecraft. No, wow. Minecraft looks fucking dumb as shit. I'm never going to play it. 
what the fuck would I ever do in Minecraft? Because all you do is walk around and you fucking build shit and you destroy other people's shit. And other people destroy your shit. And then fucking mobs are there to also destroy your shit. So everybody's just constantly destroying shit that you're trying to build, wasting precious years of your life that you're never going to get back. Do I play Minecraft? Or do I play uh, Fortnite? You don't yet. Does you will win in like no. 10 years from now. Absolutely. After it's become so popular. No. I will no no Demon Soul. That was another. That was the other game that I was looking at earlier that actually looked really intriguing. That I thought might be like a good game to get for the please PlayStation Five. Um, All right, so you know what? Let's uh, let's see how backwards compatibility works. Okay. So um, yes. Let's let's throw this in. Injustice. So we've got uh, the Injustice Gods Among Us game for the PS4. Super awesome. Let's see what the PlayStation 5 does. Have you it. played it? I actually want to see how well like it works because I know that that game in particular, um, and and I mean most other PlayStation 4, or PlayStation 3 games, uh, have super excessive loading times um, when it comes to having to load content from disc. And one of the advertised features of the PlayStation 5 is the SSD and all of the other um, enhancements that have been made to load, or or you know load things faster, right? So right now that's what it's doing. It's copying to the hard drive already. Right? No, that did actually load really fast. Yeah. And it, and it recognized it right away. I mean, you put it in and it's... Come closer. Huh? Oh. You, uh, you put it in and it just recognized it right away. Yes. You know? um, it's a PlayStation 4 game, so that's cool. So now, I wonder what happens if we actually just try to play it while it's copying. Which it's doing really fast. It's at ten percent. Yeah. But yeah, I no, mean, I, no. Look, you got to remember is that these are all Blu-rays. So at minimum, we're looking at like twenty-five gigs, probably of yeah. data. I mean, look at this. Well, it I says mean, when did this twenty-one come out? gigabytes minimum hard drive space. Yeah. So that means that it's copying at least twenty-one gigabytes of um, data over to the SSD. I this mean, came out in two thousand. Do you realize the amount of data that's being moved? Like, do you actually realize how quickly I, this is happening right now? I mean, not entirely, because, I mean, I get the concept. We're talking about... All right, so... You've downloaded a movie from a torrent site before, right? Just nod your head. No. Lies. So, most movies that you download are about uh, between 4 to 8 gigabytes, right? Okay. <laughs> and most of the download time is about an hour or so, right? So, and that's on about a okay. 200 megabit per second connection, right? At this rate, we're copying 20 gigabytes of data. Yeah, but we're So that's like, that's like downloading three movies. And look, it's at 36%. Yeah, but we're also banking on people to also be, like, also mutually... Yes, no, I know, but, I mean, we're talking about max download speed. Uh, from, well, from, from a torrent. the... At like, yes. at, like, maybe around... 8 megabytes per second is what we're looking at. Okay, so if you have the max amount... I'm not actually going to do all the math. I'm just telling you that what this is doing is really fast. And, like, what I want to try right now is I want to try to play it while it's copying. So I'm going to click on it. And it's not going to last. Oh, wait. It has three minutes. Installing game content needed to start playing. All right, so it's... it's an, Actually, you know what? I'm, I was wrong. Look at that. It's only copying five gigabytes of data. Okay. So now... I take back everything I said. I like it's the flash. Because this, to me, I don't know. Is that fast? What's what's the transfer speed on a Blu-ray? I have no clue. I don't either. So. Can I see the other games? <sighs> Mortal Kombat XL. Mm. God of War used to be my pre favorite mm -hmm. game. I and, then, and then it came out on a PlayStation 4. Shh, don't and, talk and they shit. they fucked it up. Resident Evil. Screw that game. Sorry, it scares the shit out of me. Super awesome game, but then everything that has ever been made by Quantic Ooh. Dream has been amazing. Yeah, that was If you guys game. haven't played any of the Quantic Dream games, um, Heavy Rain, Detroit Become Human, even all the way back to, like, uh, Fahrenheit. Um, I think it was called Fahrenheit, or uh, the other one. If you say 451. That's a book. No, by not for George Orwell. No, no, no. Um, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Anyways, it came out on a PlayStation 2. Um, why the fuck do we have Call of Duty Black Ops 3? Haley. Oh. 
This is actually pretty cool. I like this Tomb Raider game. Oh, I love this game. It's amazing. All right, I'm playing that. Um, Zero Dawn. <gasps> yes. And we you didn't even show it. That, ha -ha. that deserves. And then. Tomb yeah, Raider. Also good. <laughs> See, look at all the games I like are good. The Last of Us I have not played yet. I. We bought this and we never played it. We did not. I. I mean, I didn't buy this. This we played until it's... dawn. Remember. No. It had that one actress in it that was based on Hayden Panettiere. No. Yes. We played this. I don't remember that. It scared you. That's probably why I don't remember it. Because I'm scarred. I don't like this. I don't know game. what the fuck this is. I Some dragon. <gasps> oh, shut your face! <laughs> Great game. It's perfect. Ooh, and that's also me. Mass Effect. Uh, Mass Effect also something Andromeda. you don't play. Shh, we don't talk about that. And, and look, then, another hey, game again. you don't play. How about that? <laughs> look at all my games. Yes. Yay! <laughs> it's nice to be a game collector, but are you a game player? Do you want to tussle? I don't think you are. Are we going to go fish to cuss? Hey, look. The game came up. Hey, look. Oh, my goodness. What all a right, concept. Press X. You know what sucks? Why? We have only one controller. I know. Would it have killed them to put two controllers in the fucking box? For Probably. $500, I think, I think they could have put an extra controller in. I mean... Wait, some features and characters are still downloading and are currently unavailable. These elements will become available as soon as they finish downloading. So it literally wants you to play the game off the, uh, off the SSD. It doesn't even want you to play it from the uh, Blu-ray disc whatsoever. So in theory, um, well... They'll probably still want the game disc in for you to play the game so that they can verify that you actually own the game. Otherwise, you could just take this to any PlayStation and download the game and you'd be good to go. It's just a catalyst. Create a Link or WBID account to receive a free exclusive new 52 Flash skin. Uh, no, I'm going to decline that because I'm not going to create any accounts right now. Alright, so single player it is. What? Lizard. You're a lizard. This is your first time playing single player. Would you like to go back to... No, I don't want to. I wish your hair, your name was Harry so I could say you're a lizard, Harry. <laughs> you're a lizard, Harry. And you'd be like, oh, look at Superman. He's like, ah, oh, I'm Superman. Look at my face. Uh, er. Star Labs missions. I may have clicked on the wrong thing. But yeah, that uh, that actually... Oh, really it's bad. Lois Lane! She's been kidnapped by Lex Luthor and angered Superman must bypass Lex's deadly uh, That definitely does not look anything look li like, um, you know, Smallville, Lex Luthor. Oh, be smart about this, Clark. I'm gonna kick your ass to Flash. Oh shit, they're getting, they're going fist to cuffs! Why? And why does it look like like a weird Mars rover is in the background? <laughs> what is that? Why would this even be like a challenge? It's 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 Smallville against you know. Is that is he even fighting me at all? He's being a little bitch. Who the fuck is that? Why is he just standing there? It looks like other people are also fighting in the background. I'm gonna wait and see if he's actually gonna try to hit me. He's not. Come on, man. Do something. Come on! Barry. Aww. He's just letting you have it. Wait, so you're supposed to do the solitude strike oh, combo. Oh, I think. So to the right triangle X oh. and then Oh that's what I'm doing. Down left X. So you're just kicking the shit out of Barry. It's right, left. Yeah, that's what X. I was doing. Story chapters three and eight.
Is Mars Rover like backing you up? Now it's left, right, X. I mean, these are the arrows. Right, left. Hold on. Look at the way. So, right, left. I pressed uh, the L2 button. That's weird. See, it changes depending on like how I'm. See, if I'm on the side of him, it goes. It depends on which side I am. See. It's so weird. Well, I mean, yeah, it's the same. Like, I'm not. I don't get it. It seems like it would be a flying thing. I'm very confused. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go back. How do I go back? Mainly. So, you want, have you, like, uh, kind of looked at the, uh, the graphics? What, what are your impressions on the graphics? I mean, honestly, I don't know what to compare them to because I didn't see them on the PlayStation 4. Um, but overall, I mean, they're, they're fine. They're it's, fine. It, they're, it's nothing incredible, but I mean, I, d I don't know what to compare it to because I never saw it on the PlayStation 4. What about you? So this is much nicer <laughs> than the PlayStation 4. For one, because um, our PlayStation 4 is not the uh, 4K version. Uh, so all we ever got to see was 1080p. Okay. Oh, somebody's going to fight that. Of course it's horrible that I always feel bad for hunting the Joker. Well, you're also the green one. Hey, yo. Whatever, Joker. 
must be Ryan Holmes way from the screen land. I've actually never seen that version of the movie. Well, the full movie, the Green Lantern. That being said, I think that this version of the Green Lantern is buffer. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Oh, that's the Green Lantern with all his Green, Green Lantern buddies. Oh, they have more than one? Oh, yeah, but they're a league. Oh, I didn't know that. Of lanterns. I didn't. So, um, I think I saw something while I was, like, fucking around with the menus. Okay. Um, so it looks like... Oh, this is my, uh, this is me. It, it moved over my actual, like, profile. Oh, uh, I see. So let's see if we can go to the... And there's a lot more stuff for us to look at now that we are signed in. Yes. So we have the game. We have Astro's Playroom, which I guess uh, discover, discover the future, the future of play with intergalactic platforming hero Astro. Um, so it's a free game. Okay. I guess this is like their way of saying, "Hey, man, here's a free game for you." Considering it never came with its own game. Which, I mean, most uh, Nintendo games that I've experienced, or N Nintendo concept, or consoles, <laughs> come with some kind of game. I mean, my uh, NGS 2 XL. Um, Press any button. Welcome to Asher's Playroom. This experience was created to show you some of the cool tricks possible with your DualSense wireless controller. Oh. Ready to join Astro for an adventure inside your PS5? Maybe. Let's dive in. It made sound. Yeah, and, and on, on the controller. Yes. Is that orange light means something? Cool. Wow, that's pretty cool, actually. The way, yeah, the rumble on this controller is superior. Really? To anything. I mean, I'm yeah. sure. It sounds fun. Wow. Dude. That literally, like, as the <laughs> it squares were filling up, I, I felt it, like, coming up the controller like Okay. This. Adaptive, adaptive triggers. triggers. Whoa. Oh my god. There's force feedback. Oh. Uh, wait, really? Okay, so I'm guessing it's like... Do you want to try it? Yeah. <laughs> How fucking cool. I'm not. I mean, I hope it's not like that with every game, but like... No, it's not, because it wasn't like that with no, Injustice. No, it, it was not. So, I, I mean, it's really funny that this is how this is right now, because when I initially felt this, it, like right now, it's well, right. currently it's like it's on the there's touchpad. nothing. You're supposed so to touch the touchpad. As, touch oh. the fucking touchpad. <laughs> Let me see. It's like very subtle. Like the the response that it has is incredible. Yeah, you can do it soft or hard, and you can like. Mm. Yeah, all right, let's go. The motion sensor. Oh wow. Oh, so oh my god, it actually feels like they're in there rumbling around. There you go. <laughs> it's fucking oh. drippy. I'm feeling. I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh my! There's no way! Yes. That's so crazy! <gasps> That's so weird! I feel like there's things inside of the controller. Yes. <laughs> and then it like, ah! <laughs> That's so... And then when you do like one of these, like you're, you know, shaking it because yeah. you're tossing an omelet. 
It like it feels and it's that's not, your go-to. Yeah, tossing an omelet. Tossing an omelet. It's it's not even that you have cool. the response that like it's like going upwards. You literally feel like the response is going in a more like I don't know. Circ. It, it just yes. feels more like exactly rounded. Yeah. It's so strange. Let's go to I love it. Microphone. Oh. There's a microphone in it. Okay. It's blowing it. Uh. Achoo! Blow. Does it do anything? Okay. I don't sneeze in my electronics. <laughs> what the fuck is this supposed to do? Hello! Anybody home? He's out. Nothing is happening. It's a Kamehameha, dear. Hello. It was muted. Oh. Oh, you got a blow on it? Right, yeah, yeah, watch. You're blowing the. What? It literally is that sensitive, like, it can pick up the amount of air, watch. So this is just, I'm gonna do it a little bit, and then I'm just gonna keep getting more and more. Watch. Oh, that's not good. Oh, and the microphone's here. I know. I can see it. Alright. No, I'm lightheaded. Alright. It's fun to watch. It, was it? Yeah. I'm gonna cut most of that out. I was looking like idiots. Hey, so in case you guys didn't see it while we unboxed it, there's what the PlayStation 5 looks like. Yes. With its awkward shape and. I think it looks. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of growing on me a little bit. I don't know, it looks broken. No. Like it's laying there and it looks broken. I oh, don't wait, like wait, it. wait, look. The controller is. Here. Oh, okay. Aww. Asher. Yeah, sure. Oh, aww. Oh, he dances like you! No, that's the floss. That's not how I dance. It's he's flossing. I can feel his little footsteps. That's cute. Oh. Ah. What's up? Look at him. X. Ooh. Wow, there's so much force feedback in this controller. It's really? awesome. Yes. I guess we're... What's happening? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. Interesting. This controller is awesome. I love it. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Uh, processor. <laughs> PlayStation 1. The CPU plaza. CPU plaza. Oh, that's, that's so cute. I like cute. Wait, I'm not going to choose. No, I'm not going to choose. Central processor. This is just too fucking cool. Plus, the PlayStation Labo. 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 What is a Labo? Maybe it's Labo. Labo. There's also like a wait, uh, left trigger. Uh, 
that's the trigger. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, it's force feedback. That's so cool. Wait, left trigger. And then what? Down, I guess. Left trigger down. Down what? I don't know. Right Look left. at the top left. I know. I have L2 down. What about the? See, it's like it's having a problem, like grabbing. That's so weird. Okay. Well, I guess you don't fit I guess I don't. That's so strange. You wanna try? There's lots of other things. Well, no, I was leaving. So when you hold down the jump and hold down the X button, uh, okay. if you hold down the square button, you like double punch. Hold it down. That is cool. That is really cool. I like the. Um... So hold down the square. Hold it down. Hold it. I definitely feel like it immerses you more. Yeah, like no. I I like the I mean I actually can you, yeah. Ooh, look Oh my god, that's amazing! I, I actually can see spending sixty bucks on this. Computer. Oh I yeah, totally no, worth. this is incredible. So honestly, that's something that I've had issues with when it comes to like I mean when it comes to the Switch, it, both controllers do different things and they're part of like one system that does a lot of different things and has a lot of functions, but honestly, like, I'd, I'd spend that much on this controller because overall, like, all of the, the sensors, I, I, don't, I don't even know how to describe it, it's like, I don't know. It just, it has the simplest and tiniest little sensations, even when you're walking, just slightly. And it's not like when you're like doing other things with like the switch light where it's like, it's obvious. It's, ugh, I don't even know how to describe this. It's very subtle. And then when you start grabbing th something or you're walking in the water, or literally every instance where you look at something where you're interacting with something in the terrain and you're like, oh, this might, like, let's see what this does. And that it just like instantly, <laughs> there's some kind of reaction, there's some kind of response that makes this whole interaction that much more immersive. So let's hope that the developers are actually, you know, utilizing this functionality of the controller and, and making the most of it because obviously this being a PlayStation 5 demo, you know, they're going to show off the capabilities of the controller, so it's going to be probably the best it's ever going to be. Yes. Um, but, you know, God, there's so many uses for that. Yes, um, well, and even... And, and this is what this is. This is basically showing you what the controller can do and what you might, you know, do with it if you were to, write, you know, develop your own games. Well, and when you're pulling on those cables... Yeah, you can actually... It feels, yeah, it feels like, like the resistance of Exactly, rubber. yeah. That is exactly what it feels like. It feels like you're pulling on rubber. Um, oh, wait, do I have to like... No. No? Okay, hold on. Oh, wait, look, there's steps. Oh, there's steps. Never mind. So, yeah, no, I'm, I've been very interested... Oh my god. 
square. Wait. You have to hold square. Hold square. Oh. Nice. Oh, wow. I like their discs. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them! I love them! Actually, they look like hard drive platters. Uh, I mean, kind of. They look more like... Like... <laughs> they look more like regular like CDs because with hard, with hard disk platters, it's just like oh, here's a fuck. Remember, you can fly. Uh oh yeah, I forgot about that. I was like, sorry. Oh my god, I suck at this. Do I have to like? I do. There we go. I took way too long. I know I can just... Oh! You died. It killed me. That was so sad. It was like so aggressive. Did I save? I didn't know. It's a whole game. Am I wrong though? I feel like it's proper. Oh yeah, no, it's fucking amazing. I love it. Yeah. So, general consensus for the controller. I and fucking it's functionality. Love it. like, yeah, I agree. Oh look, there's also oh. step ups. <gasps> you see that? Do you yes. see what that's emulating? Yes, the back buttons. I'm feeling really It is. I dig it a lot. The way that this character like runs around like oh, makes me very uncomfortable. But I think of the Stevie Ray Bob song that you're not gonna get. Come on! <laughs> you don't. Ah, uh, well, it's right here though. Yeah. All right, so we know that. Uh... Oh, God! <laughs> that was pretty you, cool. Yeah. And oh, I got flat. Don't. All right, so I think that uh, we're gonna like jump out of this game because I don't want to. Oh wanna... my God! Only 16% through. Wow, so this is an actual game. So Apparently. maybe that should be our first, like, video um, after the, uh, you know, after this. Maybe we should just, like, try to go and beat through this game. Beat through this game. We should probably beat this game. Try to yeah. beat this game. This game should be beaten. That's true. Yeah. Share factory. Build your legacy. Is it the share? Personalize and share your greatest gaming moments. Wouldn't it be interesting? Every gaming that, moment is like... our best gaming moment, though. It's not. Imagine if it was a C H E R factory. Like oh what? The the share factory. I can't. I don't have a like. Use this. Share. Oh, do you believe? And use this PS Five to connect. Is it do you believe in life after love, yeah, or is it love so. after love? Why? Well, maybe it could be both. It could. Use this PS Five to connect to and control another PS Five or PS Four. That's cool. You can okay. also use your PC, Mac, or Android, or iOS device to connect to your PS5. That's a lot of options. Why would we use our Mac to connect to our PS5? I... Can we play games on our Mac from our PS5? Meaning that can we connect our Mac to the PS5 remotely and play games, stream games from it with a controller? I mean, I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. That well, let's see. iOS device. That's true. Wow, this phone always feels smaller after I hold a controller for a little while. It's not gonna see it, is it? Uh, 
Will you go hold it up to the QR? The QR. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the QR. There. Alright, PS Remote Play. With Remote Play, you can control your PlayStation console remotely wherever you have high speed internet connection. Using the PS Remote Play app, you can control your PlayStation 5 console or PlayStation 4 console from a different from a device in a different location. For example, you can use a computer in another room or a smartphone when you are out to enjoy PS5 and PS4 games. What? Alright, hold on. How do we do this? Um, you can't use remote play on your mobile device's cellular data network. That's fine. From Windows, Mac, mobile device. Uh, apparently you can do this with a PS4. Um, install the app. Uh, app Store. Uh -huh. What the heck is happening? Google Play, you know. Um, so I uh, so you can access Google Play or the App Store using following 2D codes. You'll also need to. Well, that's fucking dumb. I'm supposed to scan this QR code with my phone that I'm viewing the website the website on. Right? Uh, yeah. But you know that what? Negates it. It's fine. I just want to see. Maybe I can search for it. Yes. Five. Remote. Remote play. PS4 second screen. I guess there are some things that we just don't know about. <laughs> there are like, a plethora. Like, how good can this really be, though? Like... Alright, it's on there. Welcome to PS Remote Play. Sign into PSM. If you yawn, I'll kill you. I'm not yawning. I can feel it. I can feel you thinking about yawning. I don't think about yawning. It's yeah, you do. My body just initiates a yawn. It's like, you know, it's cool. Now I have to enter this code. Oh! What are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> Trying to get views? No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's inappropriate for YouTube. That's what I you that that's and we're not on Pornhub. <laughs> Confirm and continue. That's what I do when I yawn. Usually because I'm in doubt. Use the DualShock 4. To connect the DualShock 4. Do we have a DualShock 4? Is this what this is? I mean... I mean, DualShock... This this would be like a DualShock 5, right? Yeah, well, I mean, because the DualShock is like... Uh, we want to connect to a PS5. Before connecting to your PS5, to use remote play, enable it on a PS5 you're connecting to first. On that PS5, go to settings, system, remote play, and turn on enable remote play. That is really oh, high play. maintenance Stop. for right now. No, it's not. It is not? It's totally going to take me one minute. Do you want me to start timing you? Watch. Before connecting to your PS5. Use, oh, this is full remote play. Go to oh. settings. Go back home. I love how the PlayStation 5 like icon is like Ooh, look at how curved it is. System remote play and turn on the system. PlayStation 4 is like a weird remote play. Wrong this is actually really fucking responsive. I I'm enjoying this. Okay. All right, so we've enabled remote play. Searching for connections. Searching via the internet. It might take a few minutes to find the connections. You can find and connect to... Okay. Linking your PS5. It's linking our PS5. Yeah. So that means it found it. That is... Connecting yeah. to your PS5. Nice. What? Damn. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Um okay, so it, oh, we're on the you're literally controlling it from your iPhone. Oh. No way.
Except for if I turn it sideways like this, I don't have access to the uh, analog sticks. This so, one is probably pretty fucking cool on an iPad. On the iPad? This is fucking cool. It even rumbles on the phone, kind of. Right. A little bit. You have to use it. You have to use... Oh my god, and you can see it. <laughs> oh my gosh. How cool I is that? Get out of that. Oh, so this renders this useless. Hold on. Oh, except for now he's wearing VR. Who is using this controller? Uh, I am. Okay, so uh... once you do the uh, once you do the remote play, it uh, disables the uh, other controllers. Okay. Which makes sense because I mean. It would be kind of fun to fuck with someone while they're playing, but no. So, no, that's a pretty neat feature, and apparently this has been around since the PlayStation 4, so this is nothing new to anybody, but it works flawlessly with the PlayStation 4. I was not aware of any of that. I'll software. be installing that on my iPad. Yeah. Um, no, that's super Because, cool. you know, how cool is it? Well, you know, let's, we don't want to bring the PlayStation 5 into, you know, the the living room, so we can just play it on the TV in the living room using the other one. Maybe even the PlayStation 4. We could probably stream the PlayStation 5 from the PlayStation 4. Or we could just play it in here so that we can get a raid from the kids and stuff. Yeah. So, um... Let me get back to... Yes. Alright, so that was the uh, remote play, which is... nowhere to be found now. There. Um, so that's how you would use this to connect another, because you can also, kind of like, this is the app on the PlayStation, kind of like the app on the phone. Right. So you can con control another PS4 or a PS5. Mm -hmm. Is that what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. So then we have the game library, and these are all the games that we have purchased. Oh my Minecraft. god. Minecraft. It literally... I didn't buy Minecraft. For the PlayStation 4. I mean... Did I? If I'm a part of all of this, I... PlayStation 4 Edition, that's probably not the Windows... That's me. That's not the Pocket Edition, right? If it's me, I mean, it might be from me. Anyways. Right. So anyways, uh, that is basically our uh, follow-up review to our unboxing that we did earlier... Yesterday. Yes. <laughs> uh, so... What's to follow is tons of more gameplay. Uh, we're looking at looking uh, purchasing some of the games that came out for the PlayStation 5. Uh, probably Godfall is going to be the first one that I'm going to buy. Because it's yeah. the only one that actually looks interesting to me. Okay. I'm definitely not going to play NBA 2K21 because I don't like fucking playing sports on a game console. I, I just don't. You know, I, don't like I mean, there's people out there, and I'm glad you guys enjoy that, but I don't. Um, Spider-Man, I know the game got a lot of hype, but I'm just not a fan of Spider-Man games. I never really liked them. Call of Duty? Fuck, man. Come on. Can't they make Mario for the PlayStation already? <laughs> I've heard good reviews about this Bugsnacks game. You've already known... Wait, what? Yeah, this is supposed to be a pretty fun game. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. What's the premise? I don't know. I just heard it was supposed to be a fun game. You know, I don't do my own research. So... That's what I'm for. We've got another Assassin's Creed game. That might be fun to check out. And like I said... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, You don't get Horizon Forbidden West. Um, and no, not yet. But you know what's going to happen? And these... Since you're going look at these. out... These are just the announced games. I know. And I'm look looking at all these. forward to... All of these games that we'll be able to play. Uh, oh, isn't awesome? Uh, yes. And eventually, and eventually, no, do you know what's eventually going to come out, Christopher? Um, your dad out of the closet? <laughs> <laughs> Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls? The next one. Ooh. Eventually. Family Feud! No! <laughs> eventually. Friday the 13th. No! Eventually. Maneater! 
Next. <laughs> the next. Godfall. No. Alright, no, look, seriously, this game looks pretty cool. This is the launch. It's power. not Elder Scrolls, though. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty invigorated. Bad. It should be interesting. Brother. It's it's Gearbox, which is what? Who did um, I mean, the cool Metal Gear... Uh, not Metal Gear Solid, whoops. Um, the graphics are pretty impressive. I mean... Uh, yeah, that's what I said. And you were like, it's so colorful. No, you know, I like the graphics. I just don't like the style of art. Yeah, well, and that's also coming from... So I think that it's going to be difficult for you, you to migrate boy. from, like, your... Not honestly, so I don't even think it has as much to do with the art style as much you know as it has want? to do with the gameplay. I want 8K, 8-bit graphics. That's what I want. I want my pixels to be fucking... Impeccable. Yes. <laughs> you want God of War from 2006 to be an 8K. Yeah. And you want the, uh, he wants the dynamic. He wants that same gameplay. Like, I mean, think about, um... I love you. Yeah, do you? Okay. So, yeah. So, like I already said once before, I think we're just going to end this review here. Uh, it's probably gone on for way, way longer than it should have. Yeah. Uh, going to be editing the shit out of this. And, uh... You know, gonna probably cut out a whole bunch of boring, dumb parts that we've thrown in because intermittent periods of me yawning, uh, <laughs> not wanting to yawn. I just have a lot of children. Yeah, and it's already eleven o'clock at night here. Yeah. I'm uh, so it's it's past our bedtime because we're fucking old. Yeah, I mean, I'm fucking old. You're not. You, pre I'm, you like to pretend to be. I'm. I. <laughs> the only person I've ever met that wants to be old. Well, because I don't want you to think that... I mean, wait. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Uh, comments go down below. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and click the bell for notifications. <laughs> to uh, see all of our upcoming shit. <laughs> and we will hopefully post, I don't know, once a week, once every two weeks. However much time we have. Because uh, we do have a life. So, that comes first. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.